What's happening everybody? Orin J here and Bluestacks 5 is out. It is now the best way to play War of the Visions or really any other um, Android game on your PC. I'm going to show you how to download and install specifically the 64-bit version, which I've been using like super good. So I'm going to walk you through that, how to get the Amazon App Store on there, all those things. We're going to do that right now. Okay, so first things first, I did not actually uninstall the old Bluestacks. You could though, that would probably be a good idea. But you're going to go into your browser, you're going to search for Bluestacks 5. Just type that in, and then click this top thing, Unleash the Speed with Bluestacks. It's going to take you to this website. Now, do not click this Download Bluestacks 5 button right here. That's not what you want. You want to click this Bluestacks logo up at the top of the screen, and then you're going to get to this page. On this page, you want to click all versions. That's the key. You want to download all versions. And then specifically, you want NuGet 64-bit. You got to get this one to get the 64-bit version of Bluestacks, which is the best one. It's the one you want to play World Visions on. You click that. It's going to put the download and the installer down here. You just run it. Pretty self-explanatory. I've already done that. Once you have done that, you'll see you can, you'll have this Bluestacks 5 multi-instance manager. You open that up and you have two instances. You got the 32-bit and you got the 64-bit. Awesome. You want to click run the 64-bit and it's going to boot up just like this. No problem. Now, if you're playing War of the Visions, like most of the people who uh, watch my stuff are, you're going to want the Amazon App Store if you're playing on Android because you can use Amazon Coins, etc. Right? Like, that's the best way to play. You got to install the Amazon App Store on here. So let's go back to our browser. You want to go back to your search and you want to search for Amazon App Store APK. Type that in. Hit enter. Boom, go to the very first link, Amazon App Store. You're going to click this button, get the Amazon App Store. It says, hey, the Amazon App Store supports only Android devices, uh, blah, blah, blah. Just click yes. Okay. Boom, here we go. It's going to download. There it is. And now you have the Amazon App Store. You want to click this, click show in folder. Now this is going to be my downloads folder. I'm going to minimize the screen and I'm just going to drag the Amazon App Store into the blue stacks window and it was that easy. It is now installed in my Bluestacks. I click this button right here. Boom. It's going to, Bluestacks going to go to the Amazon App Store. And I'm already a customer, so I will sign in. All right. Now that I've signed into the App Store, one cool thing about the Amazon App Store, if you open it every day, it will give you free Amazon coins, right? Like today, it's only like two or three every day. Today I got two. Sometimes it's three. They just give you a small random amount every day. It helps. Like every little bit helps. I'm going to come up here in the search bar though. I'm going to search for War of the Visions. Boom, there it is. And I'm going to download and install this game. It is important that you install it through the Amazon App Store. Don't use the Google Play Store. Then it's not, then you can't use your Amazon coins, right? And the whole point of this is we want to use our Amazon coins in the game. Click install. It's now going to install War of the Visions and I'll be able to play on Bluestacks 5. Now let's take a closer look at like why Bluestacks 5 is better or at least why it claims to be better. All right, so Bluestacks 5 claims it's going to do these things for you, right? It's going to use less RAM on your computer. We all know, like anybody who runs this program with other things running, knows that Bluestacks 4 just like ate up your system. Um, it was really hard sometimes to even stream with Streamlabs going, especially if you didn't have like a monster computer. So that's really cool. Um, it's supposed to be up to 50 times faster setup than ever before. I mean, it, I guess it set up pretty fast. That's cool if that's a feature. Um, it consumes cons uh, words. It consumes significantly less CPU while maintaining maintaining stable FPS over long gaming sessions. Um, I have found that to be true so far. And here in a minute, we're going to take a look at the frames I'm getting in War of the Visions. Then it has efficient multitasking, so you can like run multiple instances of Bluestacks at the same time. And I know a lot of people on my Discord do this when they're playing War of the Visions and playing some other mobile games. Maybe they're playing a little My Hero Academia, something like that. This claims that it is much better at that than Bluestacks 4, okay? And then largest game library, I mean, yeah, it's Android games, right? It can play mobile games, so that's pretty cool. More stable, this is the big one, right? This is the one that over about one day of testing, 
So far, so good. Not crashing all the time, not having to like do the close and reopen thing. Really nice. And then consistent FPS, we'll see. And then it claims to be more private. I haven't had a problem with that yet. Now let's go into War of the Visions and see what kind of frames we're getting and what the gameplay actually looks like. All right, here we are, and you can see I have not done very much, and I'm sitting on this home screen with 110 FPS. Now, let's jump into, like, a fight. Let's see if that FPS, like, stays consistent through a fight in the arena. I'm just going to throw my current uh, Guild Wars offense team at... Oh man, not that team. I want to actually win the fight if I can. That's not the point of this video. Let's just go at this team, whoever they are. Now... In the past, right, you had to do a lot of, like, close the window, set your FPS to 1. You had to do all this juggling with blue stacks to make it run smooth at a high FPS. I didn't do any of that, right? This is just a pretty fresh install that's been playing the game for a while. And you can see through this fight, I'm maintaining somewhere between 70 to 100 frames per second. I'm perfectly fine with 70, 100 frames if it's going to be consistent and not crash and all that stuff. And this looks pretty good. Like I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. And if I can leave this all day, like if I can step away from my computer for a day and trust my blue stacks not to crash, I'm going to feel really dang good about this. So, okay, you're watching it play out. Uh, let's see if we win or lose this fight. I'm going to click the skip button. I'm not going to make you sit here. Hey, we won. And we won because of Blue Stacks 5 or something like that. Cool. Uh, let me show you one last thing with this, and that's how to get your frames per second to actually be high, consistently easy. Now, you're going to want to close War of the Visions. So let's see, how do you actually... Uh, okay, go to the home button. Ooh, this is different. So... I want to see, ah, go to recent apps. Interesting. Okay, so this is how you close apps now. Okay. So I close War of the Visions. Now, click this menu button up at the top here. It's going to bring down your settings. You want to click that. And in here, what I did, this is how it defaults, right? It looks like this by default. 60 FPS, high four cores, you want to set that. And then memory, high four gigs. Now, there is a way you can like jack your RAM usage up. I'm not even going to mess with that because I don't want to. But four has been fine for me. Then I'm going to set it at 60 FPS. I'm going to click enable high frame rate and jack this thing all the way up to 240. And you saw with this setting, I was getting like 100 FPS, which is just fine. And I like to see my frames while I'm playing. So I'm going to click that button, save it. All right. I did want to add a little, like a little tidbit here. If you are still getting the frame rate problem with Bluestacks 5, I'm going to show you real quick the way to just fix that. Um, now it's not happening for me. I just reopened the game, still getting 100 frames. However, some people have been telling me they are still having the frame rate problem. So here's what you do. You're in War of the Visions, right? You come up here to Menu. You click Menu, Settings. You set, you turn off high frame rate. You drop your frame rates to one, hit Save Changes, exit out of the menu. Then you close Blue Stacks all the way. You don't exit the game, you close Blue Stacks. You come back to your multi-instance manager here and you click Stop. It'll say, hey, this will end blue stacks. You're like, yeah, that's the point. So cool. It stops it. Then you start blue stacks, the 64 bit, number five, back up again. It's going to load. And once it loads here in just a moment, okay, then once it loads, you head up to menu, you click settings, you turn high frame rates back on, you turn frame rates back up to 240, hit save changes, close it out and then open up War of the Visions, and that will fix the frame rate plot problem if you end up uh, dropping your frame rate really low. This will put it back to what it was, and that's the workaround for that if you still have to do it. So just wanted to add that in there. All right, and that's it, everybody. That's how to uh, download Bluestacks 5, a much better experience playing this game on a PC. I'm super happy this thing came out of beta, and I'm super happy that, like, it's more stable. So I'm not sponsored by Bluestacks for this video or anything like that. Just want to give you guys this tip. And yeah, hope you enjoy it. Have a great rest of your uh, week. My baby is not here yet for anybody who's wondering. We're very stressed out about it. Doing all the things to try and get that baby born without medical intervention. But hey, it is what it is. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.